Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know straight from from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. A little thrown off because I'm not on the car dashboard today. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, Yeah, new month, new beginnings. So I might try to get to a shady spot, though, because as good as the vitamin D is for my eyes, Okay, so today is a Monday, 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 May 1st, 2017. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in Carline today. Okay, so there was a mass shooting at an apartment pool in San Diego, one dead, seven injured. Uh, tornadoes ripped through the south. We had a horribly windy day here yesterday, but luckily no damage other than some branches down. And, oh, the chain smokers uh, crashed a Chicago high school prom. So I always love hearing stories like that. It's fun. You just never know what's going to happen. Okay. Let me get to, there's really not any non-windy spots. Oh, look at, there was a bit of shade. Ah, there we go. Okay. So what's going on? So it's May 1st and you know what? I was gone last week, you know, at Dollywood, got back Friday and was supposed to be gone this weekend, but I'm glad that I stayed put, honestly, because a lot got done, just stuff that needed to be done around the house. Um, Friends had, our kids had friends over, I'll tell you more about that in a second, but went through my closet, through my son's closet, lots of cleaning going on, which needs to happen even during a renovation. Yes, lots of dust. Um, So here's the deal. So we had, um, my son had a friend sleep over, Saturday. My daughter got certified as a babysitter. Hint, hint, if anyone in the area needs a babysitter now. And then she had a friend from where we used to live come over and they baked cupcakes, which I loved, and then proceeded to, on their own, donate them, donate, give them to neighbors, which was so sweet. Love seeing that. Sunday, we had a few issues, um, ironically, after church. I don't know why that happens. Um, Yeah, I'm going to move over here so other people can get on the trail. Yeah. So what we did, speaking of this trail that I discovered that's right by our house that I've never been to because I'm not an outdoorsy person, but I had been listening to an ebook this weekend about mindfulness and productivity and how we really are not well rested and all of that. And hey, Renee. Uh, And so one of the tips, and this was more for business, but I thought would this apply to family too, was to walk and talk. And instead of just sitting like Instead of saying, hey, we'll meet for coffee and just sit and look at each other, or if there's an issue in the workplace and just like talk face to face, sometimes shoulder to shoulder while you're moving is good. One, because it helps free up your mind. And two, because, um, yeah, there's not that. Oh, we're back. We're back. Yay. Okay. So bad wireless. So basically brought the kids to this trail, trail, park, whatever it is. Um, and we walked and talked and I can't say it solved everything, but it got us through those moments and it was good and it was healthy. We were outside and yeah, it was good. So I'm going to leave it in case we lose coverage here again, since I am on the outdoors, but I'm going to try doing this more, just movement, especially early in the day, get some vitamin D. Uh, Karis's concert is tonight, her spring concert. If you can pray for her. She slept on her neck wrong Saturday and has some really bad pain. So I'm going to take her to the doctor today because it's not going away with all of my natural remedies. So we're going to see if we can get her some relief to play the cello tonight. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone